After his father passed away, a once rich boy was taken to an orphanage since no one could look after him. Suddenly, the boy saw a familiar kid standing in front of him. Why did he come to visit me? The orphan kid wondered. Robbie was the son of a wealthy businessman who owned the best car wash network in town. Everyone in school knew Robbie only wanted to be friends with kids from the same financial background. Before we continue, please take some time to subscribe to Daily Dose, like, and share this video with your friends. It might brighten their day and inspire them to do good. Also keep watching because an important lesson awaits at the end of the video. Students who didn't have wealthy parents never tried to be friends with Robbie. They all knew him as the mean boy who constantly bullied the poor kids, especially their teacher's son, Chris. Hey, Chris, Robbie shouted across the classroom. What's with your hairstyle? Did you forget to take a shower this morning? Your head is so greasy. Robbie's friends laughed with him while Chris buried his face in his book. Come on, man. Why are you hiding? Got scared of us? Robbie high-fived his friend while they laughed at Chris. Suddenly, the teacher, Chris's father, enters the classroom and instructs all the students to take their seats. After everyone is quiet, he begins teaching while Robbie keeps making faces at Chris. Later that evening, Chris complained to his father, Stephen, about Robbie's behavior. He bullies me every day and you never say anything to him, Dad. That's not fair. Stephen gestured for his son to sit beside him and held his hand. Look, son, sometimes life puts you in tricky situations where you must think before taking action. What do you mean, Dad? Chris asked. You want me to punish Robbie for bullying you, but I don't think that's a good idea. Stephen straightened his back. It's not wise to return evil for evil because that only worsens things. Then what should we do? We can't allow people to continue spreading evil, can we? Chris asked. Yes, you were right, son. We shouldn't let them continue their evil acts. Instead, we should always respond to evil with good. When an evil person looks at your kind actions, their heart will automatically change and they will realize their mistake, Stephen explained. Chris scratched his head. Okay, Dad, I won't ask you to punish him if you think it's wise to stay quiet right now. A week later, Chris and other students in his class noticed that Robbie was upset. During recess, everyone left the classroom, but Robbie stayed back. Chris felt that was unusual, so he approached Robbie. Hi, Robbie. Chris pulled out a chair and sat on it. Why are you so upset today? Robbie folded his hands and looked at the ground. You are the only one who asked me this question. You want to know why I am sad so you can make fun of me, right? No, Robbie. I will make fun of you, Chris assured him. Actually, my father's car wash business was shut down three days ago because the police fined us heavily and he hadn't been feeling well after that, Robbie said. I don't think I will be one of the rich kids now. Chris tried to comfort him, but Robbie told him to leave him alone and buried his head in his arms. Just then, the principal entered the classroom and called Robbie into his office. Sit down, Robbie, the principal told him. I have something to tell you. After Robbie sat down, the principal stood up and put his hand on the boy's shoulder. Robbie, we just learned that your father is no more. He passed away because of a heart attack an hour ago, the principal said. What? Dad died. Robbie began crying inside the principal's office while his teachers tried to console him. A few days later, Robbie was taken to an orphanage because he didn't have other family members to look after him. The once chirpy boy now sat quietly in a corner, wondering why his father had left him so soon. One day, Robbie's eyes lit up when he saw a familiar boy walk through the orphanage's corridor. Chris, Robbie exclaimed, I'm so glad to see you. While Stephen watched the boys from afar, Chris and Robbie sat together and talked for an hour. After talking to the orphanage's staff, Stephen learned that Chris was the first person to visit him after he came here. Otherwise, Robbie only sat in a corner and never talked to the other kids. Later that evening, Chris reminded Stephen of what he had told him the other day. Remember you said we have to return evil with good? Yes, son, Stephen answered. Dad, why don't you do the same with Robbie? Chris asked. What do you mean? Um, I was wondering if we can ask Robbie to live with us forever. But why? He feels so lonely living at the orphanage, Dad. I think he would feel happy living with us. The next day, Stephen went to the orphanage and inquired about the process of fostering a child. 
After learning about it, he told them he wanted to be Robbie's foster parent. After completing the necessary paperwork, Stephen soon adopted Robbie. A few days later, Chris welcomed Robbie into his house and showed him around. Here's your room, Robbie. Chris exclaimed, but he noticed that his friend wasn't too impressed. Since Robbie had spent his entire life in a luxurious house, living in Chris's house was an uneasy experience. He didn't have people around who would cook him food and wash his clothes. He had to do everything by himself now. Instead of complaining, Robbie looked at Chris and realized how happy he was despite living in a simple household with no luxuries. He considered Chris his inspiration and followed in his footsteps until he learned how to do most house chores. A few months later, Chris celebrated his birthday with his family. Everyone was sitting at the dinner table when Robbie suddenly stood up and grabbed everyone's attention. Happy birthday, Chris. He chirped. I am so lucky to have you as my foster brother. You have taught me what kindness is by allowing me to live in your house despite knowing I bullied you all year. Then, Robbie looked at Stephen and thanked him for being his foster parent and taking care of him. I'm eternally grateful to all of you, Robbie said. A few years later, after Robbie and Chris graduated, they decided to open a car wash. What should we name it, Robbie? Chris asked. Stephen's car wash. How does that sound? Robbie asked. Perfect, Chris replied. 